Okay, so I decided to <coughs> do a little intro video on my pets. As part of this channel is also going to be um, about my pets and stuff like that. So we're going to start off with um, my leopard gecko noodles. So before I show you the, um, the gecko, I'm going to show you her little tank setup that I've got going on here. Oops. Hot. So she's in this nice big, I want to say 20 gallon tank. Oh, there she is. It's got, uh, this pulls out, but I don't really use it that much unless I'm cleaning her tank because I can't take those out because it's also got this drawer here. Um, both have like little locks on them so that they can't open. Um, but she's got this drawer here, so it just pulls out. She's usually, this is usually how I feed her, how I change her water. Um, and yeah, and how like I pick her up when she's not on top of her rock. And then she has two lights, one daylight and one nightlight. And then this heat emitter, which is not on right now, because I don't need it anymore. Um, previously, I was living in my parents' basement. It was very cold, so I needed an extra heat emitter to get the temperature up. And now the temperature is a lot better than what it was at the house. I don't know if it's the right temperature just yet. I forgot to look that up last night, but yeah. So she's got this little hide that I took from my sister. Um, and that's her water dish, and then she has this other little hide on the cooler side, and then her floor right now is just a mat. I plan on getting, I plan on doing a lot of upgrades, uh, once I start work again. But yeah, so this is Noodles. She is a one-year-old giant leopard gecko. She hates me right now because she was stuck in this carry case for two days because we were traveling. So she's a little mad at me now, but she's happier now that she's home. She's been my dream pet for six years now. Um... And I finally was able to save up enough money and get her. So yeah. And she was, it was love at first sight when I saw her at the pet store. Like I instantly fell in love with her and I was like, I need this gecko. So I sort of impulsively bought her, but I already had all the money saved up, so it didn't really matter. But yeah. And then this is her food. Um, I feed her about two or three wax worms and then just a couple mealworms coated in this calcium powder. She hates these tongs. Um, it's really entertaining to just play with the tongs in her because she tries to attack them and I just I find a lot of entertainment in that But yeah, that's noodles on to technically my second and third pet um, My fish. So this is my fish tank. It's a nice uh, 20 gallon top fin tank. It has an internal filter um, powered by this air pump here um, Yeah I used to have, it, it used to be come as a full kit, so there was an external filter that sat up here. Um, unfortunately, living in the basement over the summer, it got super infested with ants, so I ended up having to get rid of it and ended up getting that, which I love a lot more. It keeps the tank so much cleaner, and yeah. And then the heater in the back there. This is my most prized possession, um, Loki's son and his boat. I love this thing. It bubbles, as you see, and it also, um, you can kind of see in there a little bit. No, well, kind of, but it lights up. You can't see it when the light is on. Um, I'll have to show you again at night when I go to feed noodles tonight. But yeah, so this is Loki. He's almost two years old, and I think he's sort of coming near the end of his life. Um, Yes, I've tried to cheat his friends. They, it didn't really do much. That's what's making me think he's coming to the end of it. But yeah, and then these are little barrels. Over here is my catfish, Harold. He is the most annoying thing in the world. Um, he's impossible to catch when it comes to cleaning, deep cleaning the tank. And I've gone through two fish nets with him because he keeps getting stuck and I have to cut him out of them. So, yeah, which means you'll be able to see it, but his side fins are a little bit messed up from getting stuck in said fish nets. How he gets stuck in them, I have no clue. Um, but I refuse to pick him up because he does this weird vibrating thing, which scares the absolute crap out of me every time he does it. So I refuse to pick him up and stick him in the bowl. Loki, I usually just pick him up, throw him in the bowl. 
Um, these were the containers that they traveled in, with lids, of course. Um, they didn't mind too much. I mean, it used to be sticking them in containers when I cleaned the tank, just because these two decorations are so big. It's just so much easier to take them out. I take these guys out as well, because that gives me a chance to like deep clean the tank a lot um, more. But yeah, so this is the fish tank. Um, yeah. And then this is the stand that it's on. It's a, uh, pretty sure it's top fit as well. Um, it was about $300. There's shelves that go in there and then there's doors that go in there. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put the doors back on just yet because I'm using this as a lot of like storage and stuff like that. And then this is just a shoe rack that came like, that was like left behind in the house that we moved into. And I decided to put Noodles' tank on there. But yeah, these are my pets. So and yeah, as a part of this intro video, I'm gonna do Noodles' feeding tonight. And also I'm gonna show you guys how I test Loki's water. And I'm gonna do that right now. I just need to find something. This is how I test Loki's water. Um, I use the Freshwater Master Test Kit from API. You can get them at PetSmart. I don't know how much it was. Um, I know that they're not very cheap. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I, there's no price tag on here. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, let's look at the plastic on it. This is a brand new one. I have, I have this, I have an older one. Um, I just didn't clean out the test tubes and now they're kind of ruined. So that was my bad though. But I have it marked here where I need the levels to be for um, the fish tank. So yeah, um, it comes with everything you need. It comes with four test tubes and then all the stuff inside. So I'm gonna open this and I'll show you what's inside. So inside it comes with an instruction sort of manual. So it tells you how to do each of these. It also does tell you on the bottles um, how much you're supposed to put in the tubes. So when we do this, the first thing we start off with is a pH test. So for Loki, he needs to be somewhere between 6.8 and 7.2. Um, yeah, so then what I do, so you grab out a test tube. Uh, do be careful with these test tubes. They are glass, so they're very delicate. Um, and then you grab out the pH solution. So grab out this and then what you'll do is you'll pop the lid off of this and you'll get water up to that line inside the tube. That's about as good as it's gonna get. So take that and then um, add three drops of this solution to there. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so after you add the solution, you're just gonna flip it around a couple times. So I mix it in, then you're going to compare it to this. So from what it looks like, we're good. So pH is good, just good to know. That's always very, very important. Um, what I am going to do so that I actually clean these out because I have a horrible habit of not doing that, pop the lid in there, dump it in there and then throw the tube in there so that I can clean it. So next, we're gonna put this back, grab out another tube, and fill it with water, and I'll be right back with that. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is the ammonia test. So get the tube full of water, and then you grab bottle number one of the ammonia solution, and you add eight drops Okay, eight drops are added, then you grab bottle number two, and you add eight more drops. Then you cap it and you shake it vigorously for five minutes, or for five seconds, sorry. Okay, and then we have to wait five minutes for this to show the proper results. And so far, it's looking a little green. So it's a little concerning because it needs to be zero. So we'll come back in five minutes. Maybe it'll change to a more yellow color. It's starting to look more yellow now. But we're gonna put it aside for now and put these away and move on to the nitrite test. Alrighty, so we've got five milliliters of water and the nitrite solution. So I'm gonna add five drops of this into the tube. 
So then one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Cap it and shake for five seconds and wait five minutes. So, so we'll put it over here with the ammonia. The nice thing is they're two distinct different colors. So I can tell which is which. Um, now I'm gonna grab the last tube and we'll do the last test, which will be the nitrate test. Awesome, so there's the tube and there's the solutions. <clears throat> this one takes a little bit longer than the others because um, I think it's more of a, it's a more important test. So it takes a little bit longer, which is fine. So what I'm gonna do is you take bottle number one and you put 10 drops into there. Okay, it's 10 drops. Then you cap it. Then you cap the tube. There's two bottles, so cap the tube. You mix this a little bit. Okay, and then pop the cap back off. Then you grab this bottle and you shake this like super crazy intensely for 30 seconds because I am, I don't know what it does, but it says it's extremely important, so do not skip this test because, yeah. So I'll be right back after this. Okay, so once you're done shaking this for 30 seconds, you add 10 more drops into this, and then you'll shake this for one minute straight. And then I think leave it for five minutes. Awesome, so it's been about five minutes for these two, and this one is perfect, it's yellow. Or maybe it's green. What color are you? Oh no, it's yellow. There we go. Yeah, I'd say that's yellow. So we'll pop it off, dump, put the tube in there to be cleaned. And then this one, obviously is blue, which is perfect. Pop the lid off, dump, and place. This one, we have to wait a little bit because it's not quite five minutes yet, but so far it's looking pretty much perfect. Um, as long as it doesn't go red, we're okay. I think if it were to go red, it would have gone red by now. Um, but yeah, so that's how I test the, oops, test the water for my fish tank. And it's good to know that it's pretty much perfect. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little video on my pets. And I'll see you tonight when I feed noodles. Hello. So it's that time of night where it is time to feed noodles. Um, I've already fed the fish. So they're happy. Um, this is what I feed them. It's just a mixture of like freeze-dried brine shrimp like cubes, freeze-dried blood worms, and fish flakes. Because this used to be a community tank and then I made the mistake of trying to establish it after I had my beta fish. So he ate everyone. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, now it's time to feed little noodles. Which I don't think she realizes it's feeding time just yet. Oh. Someone's awake. Is it feeding time noodles? She hates these toys. Come on, it's feeding time. Mummy, what are you doing? I don't have any wax worms because they sold me dead wax worms. So I can only feed you mealworms, my child. Oh, you know what this is, yeah? Stop attacking the top. There you go. So usually when I don't have any wax worms, what I do is I feed her about like four or five mealworms. This is going to fall over. Um, if not more. I don't really count. I kind of just feed her until she stops trying to go for it.
Can you not attack the toms? Thank you. Where are you? But yeah, this is feeding noodles. Can you? It's behind. There you go. Yeah, is that good noodles? Give you two more. And here's your last one. I'll give you a nice big juicy one. There you go. Yeah, is that good? So yeah, that's the feeding noodles. Um, some days it's more painful than others. Today was probably the least painful day it's been in a while. Um, Let's use the bucket and see what she does. Hey Brayden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you get noodles water? Uh, yeah. Trying to see what she's gonna do. What's this noodles? She doesn't know what to do. Look how cute she is. And I just go, ow, you little shit. <laughs> yes. Usually I go in and I clean up the calcium powder that she dropped, but this time, don't, don't you dare. Don't eye my finger like that, you little fuck. <laughs> Normally I'm able to clean that up, but instead tonight she's decided I am her dinner too. You asshole. So that's feeding noodles.